Hi everyone. Um, I am taking care of our fruit trees today and I thought I would show you what I'm doing because we have such a problem with rats or squirrels, um, birds that take our fruit trees, our fruit from our fruit trees before we can even enjoy them. So let me show you what I'm doing this year to try and beat them to our fruit before they get to it. So I bought this um, bag of organza bags and I got the six by nine uh, inch size, but I also have the four by six size on the smaller fruit. So these ones will fit over the apples and um, other fruit that we have that are bigger. Let me show you how it works. So this is our apple tree, uh, one of them. We have two and you can see that I have already put a, this is a four by six organza bag around this little apple. And I put it around that one because it fits over the smaller apples. So here's another one just right next to it. And on this tree, it's only about four feet tall, the tallest branches and maybe four feet tall. Um, the apples are just starting to come in and they're small, so the smaller bags will work for a little while. Um, if we come over here to this apple tree, I have larger apples on it and also some bird netting. Don't really like using the bird netting because it, um, if a bird is to get inside, it will get caught and doesn't know how to get out. So I'm um, hoping that this is one of the last times I use this. But what I did on this apple tree is I wrapped it lengthwise all the way around instead of covering it over the top. I've done the covering over the top lots and lots of times and it is just really hard to get over the top branches. So this one I wrapped around sideways um, and there's an opening at the top right here and there's you know it's it's just like a can so this is the top of the can and um, it's open I also have secured it down here with a bunch of bricks and concrete and rocks so that nobody can get in from underneath um, so it doesn't really work it's kind of flimsy as you can see this branch right here is coming out of a hole that is right here. So I am hoping that these organza bags will work well. The, um, the birds don't seem to have noticed this um, opening at the top. So I'm going to just take a bag and it's not going to go well with one hand but what you do is you open the bag slip the fruit in and then slip the fruit in and then tighten you don't have to do it very very tight but you just pull the little ribbons on either side to tighten the bag top. Let me get that with my fingers. So there, you've got a little apple, a bigger apple, inside the organza bag. And it's totally protected and it's pretty secure 
it won't come off unless you know how to take an organza bag off. So I will go ahead and put bags on the rest of these apples. There's four, I think, four or five that are still exposed. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, so I've got all of my bags on. I've used four on this tree and the apples are protected from the birds who are looking for for water let me show you my plum tree all right so here's my plum tree and to start i only had about a dozen maybe uh, plums on here that were good to put in little bags these are the four by six bags. They're a lot smaller, but they also fit the plums. The, um, the only problem that I can see that happens is that these plums ripen at different times of the year. And um, we caught this, or I had this idea to put the bags on the plum tree. And then, a couple days later they started ripening really quickly so um, some of them fell onto the ground and well I think the rats got into the bags and it's like it's a mess so they worked but <laughs> Uh, so bad. Okay, so anyway, when uh, you have fruit in your little organza bags, you need to check on them pretty regularly. Um, they will just fall off. Like this one looks like it's fallen off. It's ripe. All it had to do was have a little bit of wind and the wind would have fall, made it fall onto the ground and then it would have been attacked by something. So this was obviously chewed up by some kind of animal. Not that one. Hi, Pupper. You know, I know you like these. But anyway, so these plums are, it's a good idea. The bags are a good idea, but make sure that you get out and take them off the tree when they are uh, ripe. <clears throat> and the way you do that is you just give it a little, oh, that one was ready, a little pull and a gentle, and then it's like you have fruit ready for your lunch. Ready in, it's a little package. It's a gift from your tree. So here is our tree, our next plum tree, and these, I didn't thin these out, but I can see that there's a lot of plums on here. And if there are some that are grouped, I'll use a larger bag. If there's some that are um, individual, like this one's all by itself, I'll put that in a small bag. And then this little grouping here, I'll put into maybe a bigger bag. We'll see. I know I'll lose some of them to the birds because that's just what happens. So it's a good strategy. Thought I'd take you along. I've got my two ripe plums and um, that's it. The dogs are scrounging around trying to find something to eat. Ginger, Ginger, what'd you get? Found something. Did you find something good? Oh, she did. No, oh, this is not for you. This is for me. I would only do this on soft um, fruit, um, not lemons, oranges, grapefruit, because the rats, the rats do get into those, but not quite as 
easily as maybe the birds would get onto a, an apple or a plum or a nectarine or a peach and um, they will peck at it. So what they're looking for is, is water usually and probably something to eat. So um, yeah, this is just a prevention. I'll try it. I'm uh, an experimenter, so I will try it and see how it works, how it goes with my trees. And if it doesn't work out, I'll try something else. Um, some people use plastic clamshells from strawberries or blueberries. And um, that just seems like a lot of plastic to store. And I don't have the space for that. So, and I'm trying to reduce plastic although this is probably some type of plastic. So anyway, um, these are use reusable and I can wash them. So if they do fall on the ground or get torn up like those ones that are on the plum tree, then, or under the plum tree, then um, I can just rinse them out. And uh, if there's a hole, I can sew it up and fix it and reuse them again and again and again. Um, I don't um, have any problems trying to protect my crops. Okay, that's it. So I will see you on the next one. Bye.